Hazelwood Park from a few hundred years ago. This was heavily forested with wild boar and stag looming free. A royal hunting park. And that's why when James IV decided to have his palace built, he chose the royal crown. You see the gardens of the palace ahead of us now. It is open seven days a week. It is the Queen's official royal residence in Scotland. She doesn't own it, but we do let her use it. She comes up. Within the palace, you'll be able to see the old royal apartments of Mary, Queen of Scots, wander around the garden, see the ruins of the Abbey, the portrait gallery of all the kings and queens of Scotland, and the best view of the palace is to the right now, through the gates there. Also attached a fine restaurant and shop and also for a small extra charge the Queen's Gallery, part of the Royal Collection. <laughs> and at the moment it's amazing rare things the commentary from uh, very busy on the back there. Down to the right, the original tower of the Royals, built for James V. We've lost the James the Fourth Tower that one early 15. And this grassy area on the right is where Mary Queen of Scots is said to have played the game of fives, pre-runner to lawn tennis. And the strange little tower on the right sticking out into the pavement here. It's always been known as Mary Queen of Scots Bat House. Now that would seem a heck of a way to come from the palace for a bath. But in those 